Now, talking of food, our next guest went from overweight office worker to super fit army recruit. So, finds it easy to relate to all of his clients. In Diet and Fitness Today, we are joined in the Harvey Normal Lounge by personal trainer Mark Tullock. Good morning to you. Hey, Mel. How are you doing? I'm very well. So, you were unhealthy and not fit at all in your 20s. Yes, I was your stereotypical sort of sausage roll eating, V can sort of going off down to the bakery every single day, uh, weighing a lot and sort of hitting the uh, computer in the cubicle and yeah, got myself quite fat. So what did you do? I mean, what made you think, I have to change this? And what you obviously have changed quite dramatically. I don't yeah, think we all agree. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was just purely, I just wanted to look good. You know, at the time I was in my 20s and single and, you know, I think I just walked past the mirror one day and went, wow, I'm fat. You know, you kind of, mm. you, often you don't realise it. You just sort of, it doesn't until you catch a good peek of yourself mm. in the mirror and take everything off and I realised I was fat. That's what a lot of people do say. So what did you go and do to address it? Uh, I probably went a little bit more extreme than others. No I kidding. Yeah, <laughs> decided that I wanted to get out of the cubicle and go join the army. Mm -hmm. um, initially, I did that through joining the territorials, and and then went on and did some full time training, and it was yeah a lot of fun. And it's obviously uh, been very good for you. Definitely, it's turned my whole life around. Uh, I'm now a trainer um, and running boot camp training all over New Zealand, so it's great. And you help people get in shape when they're not feeling particularly good, perhaps about themselves. What do you think is the hardest part of changing to a healthier lifestyle? What was difficult for you? Uh, definitely the mindset. So the, I guess the working out and eating is very simple. Once you get the mindset right, um, you. Uh, I would say you're, you're literally addicted to food. It's, it's much of an addiction. So if you've managed to get yourself overweight, uh, you've probably got some sort of addiction to junk food or eating mm. bad food. So it's overcoming that. It's with, with food too, it's not just exercise. You can't expect us to suddenly start exercising and eating the same rubbish that you've been eating. You need to do the nutrition side of things as well, don't you? Totally, totally, 100%, uh, and particularly as you get a little bit older. Perhaps you could get away with it in your 20s, maybe 30s, but as we get a little bit older, uh, I know for myself, I can exercise as much as I like. If I don't eat properly, I will still gain weight. And, and I'm a trainer, and I'm training every day. And so you're not going to feel good either. No, you're going to feel terrible. Yeah. So how do you stick to the habits? What do you do to stick to those long-term habits? Uh, I think it's being realistic, finding something that's sustainable. You can't go on to extreme diets with pills and potions and powders. It's very much just tapping into a whole food diet, eating well most of the time and then allowing yourself to have those treats rather than mm. trying to deprive yourself of them. It's being sensible, isn't it? Yeah. Your army training, does that come into your boot camps at all? Uh, yeah, I, I'd say so because, you know, when you join the army you have people of all different fitness levels, you have sort of these super fit people and then people like myself who are overweight, so it's, yeah, it's taught me how to get anybody up to a good fitness level. So you're not yelling at everybody though, are you? You're supportive? It's no. that sort of environment <laughs> where you're all together as a group getting through things? No, we wouldn't last. Um, people, if people wanted to get yelled at, they'd join the army. People want to be in a fun, supportive, sort of community-based environment where they're supported. Uh, so we just go down that, that pathway and make it fun for them. And what, what sort of ages do you get coming along? Uh, you would be surprised. It's mainly tends to be slightly older people, to be honest. Yeah, so in that sort of 30 up to 50 bracket. And how do you stop them getting discouraged if they are, if they're along there and maybe they're not seeing the results instantly that they want to do? I mean, what do you do? Uh, I think that's the difference because I'm dealing with them on a personal basis, you know, where it's a little bit different in a gym environment. So it's, I can go and give them one-on-one -on -one coaching mm -hmm. really so it's often it's just a lack of knowledge that's stopping them getting their results so it's it's very much giving them the right knowledge to make sure that they continue progressing in whatever they're trying to do. Now we just had this chat off air before I find this fascinating cardio and strength I mean what is the most important exercises that we should be doing? Uh, a lot of people are going to like what I'm going to say but it, it's 100% it's cardio you know cardio is far more important than strength training cardio to me relates to the health of your heart uh, and it's health, you know. Strength right. training is fantastic if you're an athlete or a sports person or wanting to look after the structure of your body, but if I could only do one, I would do cardio because I know it's probably going to give me a better chance of living longer. That's really interesting. Uh, what sort of cardio are we talking about? Do I have to go for a long run or what do I need to do? No, it can be anywhere from walking. You know, if you've been sedentary, uh, it's walking all the way up to going for long, crazy long runs you, that people go for. And you should be doing it every day? 
I'd say so. Yeah, why not? You How know? long? <laughs> give me 20 minutes. Give me a, f a time factor. 20 minutes. Here. Go for a 20 minute walk every day. Okay. You know, get your 10,000 steps in. Anyone can do that. 20 minutes walk per day. I think I can factor that into my lifestyle. 100%. And just quickly, what are the best kind of exercises to do to lose a bit of weight? A combination of strength endurance training, so body weight exercises, and cardio training, running or walking. That's it. Cardio, That's cardio, the most cardio. effective way. You Don't listen to the people in the gym. Okay? Ooh, that is the most listen effective to you. Way. That's fighting talk. That is fantastic, and I'm really interested. I'm going to go and try that and see what happens. And uh, very straightforward and very yep. straight talking. Mark, thank you so much for joining me You're today. Welcome. And for another way to get some fitness into your life, check out the Health Station VFit special cafe offer by calling the number on screen.